Hello and thank you for joining me for another episode of Run Level Zero. Uh, today we're taking a look at Voyager 13.10. Voyager is based on Exubuntu or Zubuntu 13.10 Saucy Salamander. Um, it's been around for a while as a distro. I actually ran uh, a previous release of Voyager as my primary desktop for quite a while, uh, a couple of years ago. So I'm anxious to see what they've done to improve on their uh, what used to be a, a really good system. So let's dive right in, see some of the customizations. As, or, as I've already stated, uh, it's based on Xubuntu, Zubuntu 13.10, uh, which means you're going to get an XFCE desktop environment. I've always been a big fan of XFCE. It's uh, a good balance between functionality and being lightweight, not overburdening your system. You can do a lot with Xubuntu. So, the obvious things that you have here um, Xubuntu desktop, standard, you get one panel across the top. They do use plank along the bottom as a quick launch bar. A couple things to note about this desktop they have a almost a full desktop conky type action going on. In the lower right hand corner you can see an indicator to show you which desktop you're on. It's kind of redundant to what they have up here in the pager. In the left portion of the screen you have a nice conky theme going on. I like this conky. It's, it's rather unobtrusive. Uh, many of the conkies that you see installed on, on other distros would take up you know the whole side of the screen. This is This is pretty unobtrusive. And you can see uh, that is running on 415 megabytes of RAM. It's not too bad, not the most lightweight, but not bad considering everything that, that Voyager has going on here. Uh, there's something that you, you won't see, which is up here in the upper left-hand portion. If you were to log into the chat client, uh, say with your Google account or what have you, it would sync up your, your contacts, and your contact status will be displayed in real time here on the Conkey. So that that's a pretty nice feature. Looking at the desktop, on the right hand side of the panel you have your session manager where you can log in, switch out, shut down. You have a pager to switch desktops. You have a weather applet, which unfortunately I'm running this in a virtual so you're not going to get any data from that, but it would display your, your weather for you. You have the calendar slash clock, messaging settings, uh, radio tray is installed by default, which is pretty pretty neat. They have some pre-configured uh, radios for you. I, I like radio tray; it's it's a good application. Uh, you have your network manager. There is the volume indicator, power the uh, power monitor, the the battery monitor here, and Synapse. There's a, a quick launch here for Synapse, which if you've never used Synapse, you can search your applications, documents, places. So if you wanted to launch a, uh, a program directly, you can type it in here. Over on the left-hand portion of the screen, you have a quick launch button to the Slingshot menu. Uh, Slingshot is a GNOME 3-ish uh, icon-driven menu system. Uh, one of the things that, that I've noticed with Voyager, Voyager is a French-based distro. Uh, there is, and anytime you get a distribution that's as highly customized as Voyager is, that runs off uh, custom scripts and, and that sort of thing, whenever you install it in a language other than its native language, you're not going to get a complete uh, language integration to, to your tongue. So I've installed this in English. So any of the customized scripts that were written in French, they're going to remain in French. If that really bugs you, uh, you can go in and, and change the scripts yourself or you can live with it. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things when, when you're looking at something as highly customized and scripted as this, you're going to run into some uh, inconsistencies with language. The slingshot menu, for example, has, I believe that's a little bit of, uh, that lo actually looks like Spanish up in the top. <clears throat> so, yeah. 
Let's see, you have a quick access to your home folder. And you have the standard XFCE menu. One of the things, I would have liked to have seen the Whisker menu here. I think Whisker would, would do really well on this, and it really wouldn't be an issue for you to install that yourself. Uh, they have a huge assortment of applications pre-installed, and they all seem to be, they're, they're a good mix of apps. Anything that you would want to do, you can pretty much do in, uh, in Voyager. They have a, an application installed to cover most tasks without being redundant. That's one of the things that really gets me is you get these, these systems that have so much installed that, that they become really over bloated and most of it is because they'll have three or four, you know, two or three office suites and, you know, all the redundancy just takes up unnecessary space. Um, Voyager seems to, they, they offer a lot without the redundancy. So, yeah, they have a good uh, selection of, of applications. Let's, let's see some of the highlights here. Uh, under accessories, uh, Orange Global Time is installed. Of course, you have your, your archive manager, Catfish is installed. Cover Globus is uh, pretty interesting, grabs the cover art for whatever music you're playing. Uh, let's see, Slings Cold, which is for the slingshot menu. Synapse, as we've already covered. Uh, let's see, under Games, Minds and Sudoku, pretty slim there. Uh, graphics, they have Dark Table. The GIMP is installed. M Comics, a viewer for comic book archives. It's interesting, don't see that too often. Uh, Restretto for image viewer. Under, in, under Internet, you get the Firefox web browser, Pigeon Internet Messenger. Poly is installed, which if you have uh, multiple Twitter accounts, um, that can be a manager for that. Uh, Thunderbird email. Transmission for BitTorrent and XChat IRC. For multimedia, you get Clementine. Uh, let's see, PitaV video editor for it's a fairly simple video editor. Format Junkie for create for uh, converting your file formats. FreeTux TV is installed for watching TV over the internet. You get Parole and VLC for media players. MiniTube is installed. Again, radio tray, uh, cheese for your webcam, Voco screen for screencasting. I'm starting to see this more and more. I, I really like this program. Uh, XF burn and audio recorder. For Office, you really don't have a full Office suite installed, but you do have Abbey Word and Gnumeric, which really would, would fit the average user's needs nicely. And under system, we have the firewall configuration. Bleach bit is installed. I see Crypt Keeper, uh, and then yeah, you get Synaptic Package Manager is installed along with the uh, Ubuntu Software Center, so package management should be no issue. So the plank you have on the bottom has quick launch icons for your web browser, terminal, mouse pad, which is a, the uh, lightweight text editor, your file manager, Skippy XD. You have a show desktop icon. You have another quick launch down here for the slingshot menu. Minitube, the Ubuntu Software Center, your settings manager, and there's something here for kill plank. There's also a small notifications area here letting you know you have updates available. And as well as up in the upper left hand corner you have the same notification area. Now Voyager does have a couple of uh, things you need to be aware of if you're going to try it. Uh, there, there are several customizations that go on here. Um, if you right click the desktop, you can see you can uh, launch a terminal or an administrator terminal. But more importantly, you'll see these three custom scripts, Voyager Box, Voyager Wall, and Conky Control. Under Voyager Box, now if you change the if you right-click on the desktop, go to desktop settings, you can see, there we go, they have a ton of wallpaper installed. If you change the wallpaper on your desktop, if you switch desktop and come back, you'll see it's changed your wallpaper back. The way that you uh, handle your wallpaper is by going to Voyager Wall. You see you have a menu here. These are all customizations. 
Bureau 1 through 4 are your desktops. And what this means, if you select Bureau 1, OK, then you change your desktop wallpaper. Let's see, we'll just pick one here at random. And whatever, that's fine. Now you hit close. When you switch and come back, your wallpaper is the same. And what this really does for you, let's go back to Voyager Wall. Now let's go to Bureau 3. Click OK. And we'll put in another wallpaper and hit close. You see that you're actually able to set a different wallpaper on each desktop. That's cool. Through Voyager Wall, you can also set customizations for Ranger, Terminal, CMOS, Freetux, and handle your themes from right here within Voyager Wall. So if you're using Voyager and you want to do any customizations, use Voyager Wall. That's the only way you're going to make it stick. But I, I think that's pretty cool for being able to set a, easily set a different wallpaper on each desktop. All right, so let's go to Voyager Box. Voyager Box is some custom configuration uh, settings and security settings. This is where you're going to be able to configure the plank right here. So if you want to do any customizations on plank at the bottom, don't look in the menus. You're not going to find anything there. It's right here for plank config. Okay, so you can also configure your software. I believe that's repositories. I may be wrong there, but you can do your backups and restores from here, uh, repairs and security settings all from right here in this menu. Let's cancel that. All right, and you also have a control panel for Conky in here. So if you want to do any changes to your Conky uh, settings, it's going to be right here. Now again, as I mentioned before about the custom uh, scripts being in French, you can see these menus are in French. But if you click through it, it's actually pretty easy to figure out exactly what things are doing. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. There is another Easter egg here on the desktop, and that's if you mouse over to the right hand side of the screen and touch, it will open another hidden menu. This menu allows you to, again, switch your different desktops right from here. But you also have some, uh, some quick launches for a couple pretty cool utilities. Uh, hitting Terminal will open up a full page terminal. It changes the wallpaper and it actually opens up something similar to, I believe it's Gwake or Yagwake or something like that that's running in the top. So it looks like a full page terminal but it's actually giving you a custom wallpaper for your terminal that integrates very well with their terminal application. And you can toggle it on and off. Similarly, you can toggle on and off Ranger. Now if you're not familiar with Ranger, Ranger is a text-based file manager slash editor that is has the similar or same key bindings as VI. So using the left and right arrows, you can see where I am in my home folder desktop. If I use right arrow, I can go back to home, back to root. I can scroll down. Let's go down and find something here. Right takes me into user. Let's go down to share. Uh, let's take a look at applications. And here are my application desktop files. If I pick one of them and hit right, it opens it up in nano for me right away. So that's actually, that, that's pretty cool. So if you haven't played around with Ranger, uh, I suggest you do it. You, you, I think you'll like it. All right, so we'll toggle Ranger off. But you also have uh, quick launches here to your music player, your internet TV player, Conky. Uh, Let's see what that does. Oh, that turns the pigeon conky on and off right here. So that's where I mentioned before about the uh, the uh, integration with, with pigeon, your, your IM client. You'll be able to uh, control whether or not you're actually showing your, your contacts on your desktop right there through that control. Let's see. Box Voyager, and this uh, actually these two on the bottom toggle whether or not your your panels auto hide or they stay 
uh, out there. So if I click on panel zero, let's see here, it looks like it might be a little buggy. I clicked on panel two, you can see panel two is pinned open. Click on it again, panel two should close, but it's not for some reason. So it looks like they have a bug there. These two are supposed to, and actually I have it installed on another partition, so it might be an issue with VirtualBox. When I have it installed on hardware, these two actually work very well. So this might be an issue with VirtualBox. Um, these two buttons actually pin whether or not, or toggle whether or not your uh, panels are in auto hide. But it does not seem to like VirtualBox for some reason. Oh, there we go. So it, it toggled it there, just took it a minute. Okay, so this is Voyager. Let me know what you think. I really like it. I think it is a worthwhile uh, distribution. It is uh, one that's been around for a while and it offers a lot. Uh, you just need to take a little bit of time to get used to it. So download it. Give me a try. Tell me what you think. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or comment. Leave your questions, comments, or emotional outbursts in, down below. And uh, Oh, I wanted to say hello to my number one viewer, Miss Jessie. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your views. And uh, thank you for joining me again with another video. Uh, I hope to be with you again soon.